This is WENY HD News. Good morning, Twin Tiers. I'm Laura Queso. And I'm Joe Melillo. I'm John Hickey, the bearer of bad news, unfortunately, today. We're seeing some rain in the forecast. But good news for some people who need it with this, you know, whole burning ban and farmers. Yeah, absolutely. We could use the rain. It just, I don't know, even if we need it, sometimes people just get so used to the sunshine. Yeah, not good for the tan. No, not good for the tan. and uh, Or the burn. No, or the burn I'm either. Yeah, <laughs> left side of my neck. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking with one of my neighbors, and he said, oh, man, I was hoping the uh, sunshine would last until further notice. I said, yeah, me too, but, yeah. you know, need some rain every once in a while. Let's see what the Crystal City Sky Cam has to show us this morning. We're off to a cloudy sky out there and a cloud-filled sky to start your day. We'll see a few showers mixing in from time to time. Nothing out there just yet in Corning, but showers more likely going into your afternoon. Weather headlines for you today look like this. Uh, we have showers that have finally arrived in the forecast. It's been since April 28th since we've seen any rain. We have the potential for some strong to perhaps even severe thunderstorms on Friday. We'll talk more about that here coming up. And it's looking more and more optimistic for Mom. Looks like her day may end up being dry now as our weather system seem to be progressing a little bit more quickly than we were forecasting earlier this week. 58, your current temperature now under a cloud-filled sky, northeasterly breeze at about 3 miles per hour, looking at lots of upper 50s across the Twin Tiers. From Elmira to Corning, Dansville, Wellsboro checking in at 54, as well as out in Wellsville, 58 to Wanda looking at 57 in Ithaca. We spin the map around for you, some other local temperatures going from 54 right now in Mansfield, 56 here, and 55 Lansing, all under a mainly cloud-filled sky. We'll see a couple of sunny breaks from time to time today, but any sunny breaks that we see will end up only enhancing some of these showers and potential thunder showers that we end up seeing. Seeing a uh, pretty good plume of moisture coming in off the Atlantic now, and that's starting to increase the showers, especially across the northern tier. We flip over to our live interactive sky track or Doppler radar system, noticing a pretty good shower coming through Mansfield now, moving over towards Tioga and Keeneville. The majority of our showers now located right along that Route 6 corridor and they'll continue to be for another hour or two, and then we'll start to see those showers become more widespread across the Twin Tiers throughout the day. In fact, we'll take a look now at your 24-hour planning forecast using our Weather Central graphic system. Notice we have the chance for showers throughout the entire day, but best chances for them, mainly during the afternoon and early evening, that's the best chances for some thunder showers. So don't be surprised if you hear a couple of rumbles of thunder out there today. Temperatures as you're waking up tomorrow, generally in the low and mid 50s. Bigger picture, area of low pressure making a slow move off towards the north, enhancing our shower risk, not just for today, but for tomorrow too. It's a cold front that's lingering back to the west though that'll be coming through that'll enhance our thunderstorm risk for Friday. So we'll get to that. But for today, looking at those showers becoming more widespread, of course, you can always follow along with your timestamp here. As we pause things for you this evening, notice Future Track trying to depict some perhaps enhanced showers, perhaps some rumbles of thunder in there as well. But we go in towards tonight, the shower activity begins to diminish. But daytime heating uh, enhances those showers and perhaps some more thunder showers for your day on Thursday. You can see that popping up here at 4 o'clock. Things again diminish for your Friday. We'll actually see a fair deal of sunshine before that cold front comes through on Friday evening, and that's what will enhance the thunderstorm risk. Something we'll have to keep a close eye on. Of course, severe thunderstorms contain those uh, larger hail and potentially some wind gusts over 58 miles an hour. So we'll keep a close, tab close tabs on that. Tongue twister. Seven day forecast showers through about Saturday, turning colder behind a cold front for Sunday, watching the potential frost for Sunday night and Monday night. 